in the 60s and the 70s, we had some good music. If you want to hear some of the Temptations, some of Smokey Robinson, some of the Tim Free, things that you don't get every day, DJ Scatter remembers he's going to have it for you. Bank of Blue Valley is a proud sponsor of KUAW Radio. At Bank of Blue Valley, we believe that an understanding of financial value sets individuals up for a strong future. Whether you want to talk about checking and savings accounts, review lending alternatives, or discuss starting your own business, we have the right people to listen and advise. Visit us at bankbv.com to get started today. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. You're listening to 98.5. This is KUAW, Kansas City, Missouri. Glad you're listening. Keep tuning to the new voice in Kansas City. Hi, my name is Felania Johnson, and I'm a freshman at Facel Academy of Fine and Performing Arts. My name is Mayan Charity, and I'm a seventh grader at Lincoln College Preparatory. STEM is a program about science, technology, engineering, and math. More girls our age should get more involved in the program because there's a shortage of black girls in STEM. African American women make up just 2% of engineers. Roughly one third of students of color express an interest in STEM. Most black women think that STEM is too challenging. We are sisters in STEM and we are encouraging young black teens to join STEM. If you're interested, Hey, welcome back. Thank you guys for tuning in to Talking Dance Moves. I am here with my special guest, Joe Wiz. Hi, everyone. So today we're going to be talking about um, dance, um, fashion, and um, beauty. Those three things we're going to be talking about today because they also all coincide with dance, all coincide with performing, all coincide with just everything in the industry. Mm -hmm. But first I want to say, since we are live, I'm going to be um, letting everybody know that we are having a um, giveaway today. We are going to be giving away a eyeshadow palette to the first 100 viewers that comment on KUAW 98.5 and also if to get to 100 viewers. Okay, so as soon as we get to that, then we will pick somebody out of those comments um, if you guys would like to call in, it's 816-599-6893, 816-599-6893. So, yes, um, we are on live with Joe. So, Joe, let me ask you this. She also has a magazine called Joe Wiz Ma Fashion Wiz. Fashion, Fashion Wiz, Wiz magazine. magazine. There you yes. go. Fashion Wiz Magazine. So, when did you start your company? Ooh, so I started uh, Joe Wiz LLC in July of 2016, and... We started off as a fashion company uh, designing clothes for women and uh, a lot of girl uh, that were like girls in high school going to prom, uh, different things. So I wanted to eventually get to red carpet gowns. So we're working on that. And uh, in 2019, I started Fashion Wiz Magazine. It's an online magazine about fashion, leadership, technology, and lifestyles. See, there you go. Okay, so question everybody always asks me this question um when it comes to do you guys do plus size yes we do i specialize because um as i got a little older filling out my you know my womanly body <clears throat> we had to make something comfortable for the curves uh for the women you know there's different times in our lives we we go up and down in size and i needed something to look beautiful fabulous and still be comfortable, still be able to move, sit, get back up. Yes, I love my plus size. Yes, and that to me is is a plus because nowadays you don't see plus we we see a lot of plus size dancers now. Mm -hmm. We see a lot of plus size models now. Mm -hmm. Before back in the day you didn't see any of that. Wasn't and now allowed. and it's so hard to find costuming for our kids. Aww. Because it's a lot of places don't have plus size. So now it's kind of like we're we're coming out with this brand where we can make the plus sizes for these little girls. Now these little girls are wearing the same size I am, and they're only in elementary school. True that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I blame it on the food, to be honest yes, with you. for sure. <laughs> I blame yes. it on the food. It is. All of the, you know, processed and all that stuff that, that goes into it is, is really hard mm -hmm. to, you know, to process. I agree. The foods, uh, less outdoor play. 
they're inside on their game so they're not getting the activity so you know it's a lot that goes with it and um you know but there, there are still our loving babies and you know we want them comfortable and we want them confident so they deserve it all yes. just like us women yes know? and they have to be taught from a, at a young age just because you're plus size doesn't mean you have to wear sweats and a baggy t-shirt you can oh, wear no. something that's gonna make you feel good about yourself yes you know and that's why i i partnered up with you guys because i love the fact that we can all get together and have fun and be like we're we're planning some big stuff you guys like really really big stuff when it comes to us three collaborating um we're also going to be collaborating with uh seanette um bronson who is a other um clothing designer word up to seanette yes i had her on a couple weeks ago so yes we are going to be you know um collaborating on a lot of stuff when it comes to my dance coming to with her nonprofit and seanette's nonprofit. we're all linking those three together to um help the kids out here in kansas city missouri give them something to do if a child wants to learn how to make clothing, you know, we're going to send them to you so you can show them how to do these things, mm -hmm. you know, just like with us and dance. Like I always have it to where they get to pick their costumes out. Oh, so then yeah. I'm going to contact you and be like, hey, we need this. You know, can you help us? Can you help her out? Because she wants to help design this, yes, you know, and it makes I them feel that. important. Yes, it, it makes does. them feel like they're doing something. Sewing is um, kind of a lost skill and you know, being able to create and it's really, uh, it really develops, I think, you know, the younger children and even some of our older women, it really helps develop, you know, their creativity and mm -hmm. it does a lot for your confidence also. I remember when I was in high school, I loved my home ec class. Really? The boys got to go to shop and we got to got yes. go to home ec and we used to learn <laughs> how to, we made pillows and you know, just different things that we can take home and show our parents. Yes. And nowadays, it's like they don't even have none of that. It's all Sad. on computer. Mm -hmm. It is. And there is nothing like how we went to school. Right. So I'm glad that we can bring that back and have, you know, these kids learn how to do something in case we do go back to the Stone Ages. Mm -hmm. Like, so what's going to happen when cell phones fail, computers fail? Yes. They're going to all have to learn. Like I and said, the, the Wi-Fi other... goes out. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Don't say that. No, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I think I'd be lost with no Wi-Fi. <laughs> we would. We would for a minute, but we'd adjust. Right? Oh, my God. <laughs> so, yes. I mean, so let's talk about your magazine. Uh, my magazine. My magazine I started because um, it seems to me there's been a loss of just glamour in our styles. And, um, you know, people, I remember when I grew up, you know, I would see older men in suits and they would just be walking down the street in a suit. And I'm like, why is that man wearing a suit in the day? But my God, he's sexy. My God, he's hot, you know. And I would see on television or at home, the women would actually show up at the dinner table, which is lost now. So, but they would show up at the dinner table in a cute little dress, you know, something nice and her husband or partner would you know notice her all through dinner and then they'd put the kids to bed and they'd have their adult time we've lost glamour um, fashion brings in a family connection sometimes I think that um, that's been lost a little bit so my magazine was to incorporate some of these things the family the glamour uh, leadership and also you know bring it up to date with the technology and things that we're using now to, mm -hmm. you know, to create some of these things. So that's how that got started. I love the fact when we were younger, we would sit around the table and eat with my mom and my dad and my grandma mm -hmm. and, you know, have yes. those dinners. Now it's like the kids go to their room. Mm -hmm. I go to my room. We don't I don't even have a dining room table yeah. as long um, as I've been living in don't my, now. Yeah, because it's like nobody eats there. Yeah. You yeah. know, and it's like we need to bring that back. Like Yes, the, we do. These, you know. I love to be comfortable, so there's nothing wrong with going to the grocery store in your sweats. But girlfriend, put something on. <laughs> Go to the grocery store and not for anyone else but yourself. Yeah. Yourself. Look flawless for yourself. Okay, I take my elderly neighbor every week, um, sometimes every twice a week. But because I was sick, I haven't taken her in a few weeks. So we went mm -hmm. out today. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's one of her pet peeves. 
she will roll down my window and yell at the people and say, yeah. go put some clothes on. Because yeah. she's like, there's no way that lady should be in her pajama bottoms at the store. Oh, I like her. And she said, and she said, <laughs> and they're dirty to boot. She said, Ooh. she needs to go to Walmart and at least get some clean pair. And I was just like, oh, my okay. God, Miss Nora, you're going to get a shot. Like, well, I like Miss Nora. <laughs> it's what we think, but she's saying it out loud. Because she's older. She's used to going to the store, you know, a little dressed up, mm -hmm. you know. And it's not for a man. It's not. It's for her. It's respect for yourself. Yes. And I try not to, but sometimes I have my sunglasses on, my oh, yeah. workout pants and mm -hmm. my workout shirt. Mm -hmm. But at least I'm, you know, dressed. And once in a while, that's, you know, how we roll. Yeah. But once in a while, let's pick it up. <laughs> Seanette said, go, Miss Nora. No. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> we Can like Miss Nora. Can you see how many shares we have, you guys, um, Mr. Walker? <laughs> yeah, Facebook. So you guys call in, and if you have any questions uh, you'd like to ask us, the number is 816. 19 shares right now, you guys. 19 shares. Let's 599. You just click on the, well, you're on your computer, but if I click on my screen, I can see it on the watch party. I can't see it on my live, but I can see it on my watch party that I have going on on one. Mm -hmm. So, yes, um, mm -hmm. another thing, we're going to be, um, I'm going to be doing my reality show again. Um, but we're also coming up with another reality show that's going to incorporate all three um, nonprofits. And yes. I am super excited to intertwine those mm -hmm. because I really think the models and the kids would actually learn from each other. Yes, for sure. I think that they would actually learn from each other and the models can inspire the little girls. Yes. And, you know, it's going to be so fun. Like, but reality, like I'm. I've done reality shows before, mm -hmm. so it is very, very um, demanding, mm -hmm. very um, not private. Okay. Okay. So right. that's what yes. you guys are going to have to learn um, when you're filming it. People start to hate and people start to um, really get into your business. So mm -hmm. Girl, they do that now. Yeah, that too. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, it's okay. Yeah, I got called ugly the other day, and I told Aww. some guy told me to I needed to go jump off a roof, and I didn't need to be doing makeup. But <sighs> I just told him thank you, and I appreciate your view, and you're making my um. Those people crack me up. I'm sorry, I have to laugh. And then at their, <laughs> it's kind of miserable of them. And no, then it's miserable. you have your you know your ones that come on and are just really nasty. I always just <laughs> tell uh, Seanette, block the hater please block mm -hmm. the hater right because you're gonna get those you're gonna get them mm -hmm. um regardless of what you're doing i right. get them from here i think i got a post last year remember mr walker where the lady called me racist um <laughs> yeah Oops. yeah she called me racist yeah. and um it did really hurt because i'm not that i've no, never been called that and i've never had to experience that but uh, me not saying anything um really put out a perception of because most people will go on and, and fight back and talk mm -hmm. crap back and forth. Right. I didn't do that. I just let I it go. Time. And, you know, Give too people many who know me, yeah, people who know me, know me. Yes. So and that's all that matters. Yeah. So let's talk about our nonprofits. Yes. Let's do that. Okay. okay. So you, let's do your nonprofit first because everybody knows about mine. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So I have a nonprofit, uh, J Spotted Eagle nonprofit, and we. Uh, help children with health challenges ages 6 through 16. Um, we have functions. Uh, we help financially. We help with medicines, prescriptions, rides. Uh, we want to work on getting a building so that we can uh, bring the children in and, you know, play games and just have a little fun. Um, so we've been doing this also since uh, 2017. Uh, Jay Spotted Eagle is my mother who's moved on and she was a great leader. So we have to do things to honor her name and honor her spirit. So that's how we started um, our nonprofit, the Jay Spotted Eagle nonprofit. So if you guys, if you know of any children with health challenges, and it could be, you know, learning disabilities, it could be emotional, physical, it could be behaviors, mm -hmm. um, it could be cancers, blood diseases, anything. If you know of children, between ages six through 16 that might need a little help, the parents might need a little help, please contact us. Contact us, you can get on our Facebook page. Uh, we have J Spotted Eagle uh, nonprofit website. Contact us, let us know. And 
if you guys want to donate to a great cause, 100% of the donations go to the nonprofit. All of our board members, everyone is strictly 100% volunteer. So we're proud of that. That's our nonprofit. Yes, same thing with mine. Um, if you know anybody, we are going to be incorporating. I um, tried to do it last year, but we didn't get any really results. So when I'm working with her, it is a blessing because my son has autism. So I would like, um, you know, for us to be able to have special needs dance classes. So with her help, my nonprofit and Seanette's nonprofit, we're going to be doing these things with the kids that are, have special needs. You know, get them rides. Um, same thing with my um, my foster kids. We go to court with them. You know, we are a support to them to make sure that they're okay through these court systems because it's not easy going to court and it's not easy dealing with the stuff that they're dealing with. So with my nonprofit, we teach kids to dance and we teach kids how to cope with their you know their needs we have a couple of kids who lost their parents last year to gun violence and to um alcoholic accidents you know so you know the kids there um in my classes have all suffered in some way so with all of our nonprofits, that's what we're working towards so we can get you know i don't get paid for teaching dance all of my whatever donations we get goes 100 percent to my kids to the to the dance studio to their uniforms, to their costumes, to competition fees, you know, stuff like that. So we're going to be having a um, uh, Halloween party uh, November 27th at 530 at my dance studio. It's open to the public. All the donations that we're asking for, which is $2 for kids and $4 for adults, will be um, going to the nonprofits. So that's going to be, they're going to be free food, free drinks, games, a trunk or treat, um, just a whole bunch of stuff, a uh, dance contest, a costume contest, a bunch of stuff for the kids to have fun. So October, sorry, Seanette, October 27, not November 27, October 27. So there is a flyer on my Facebook. My Facebook is Extreme Explosion Dance KC um, LLC. And then yours is um, which one? I'm sitting here reading my messages. I'm sorry. I'm it's so okay. Lost. Um, are you? We're doing our web page for the nonprofit. Is yes. J Spotted Eagle Nonprofit. Dot Weebly. Dot com. And Seanette, since you are watching, whoop, whoop, we're going up and shares, you guys. Yay! Um, all right. So uh, let me know what you. Even a child will lead. Um, is the other nonprofit that we are working with as well. Mm -hmm. So yes, we are going to be doing a lot of stuff. We're also going to be putting together a fashion show as well that's going to, um, you know, benefit the nonprofits as well. We're going to have our dancers perform. We're going to have a runway show. What else are we having? Um, yes. So that's all for the nonprofit. And yes. Yes. So we're putting together uh, several programs. Um, we're actually putting together, we're doing a, a car show and fashion show yes. to raise money for uh, kidney awareness. We're also doing the, the fashion show. Um, we're just going to combine. We've met three fantastic women have came together. Seanette Bronson. April. April, right? Um, April. Um, um, Almanza. Almanza. Yeah. I don't want to pronounce her last name the wrong <laughs> way. Almanza and Joe Wiz. So we are here gathered together we've absorbed each other's energy and we're about to do some fabulous things for not only our community uh, the children in our community we want to bring awareness uh, to the entertainment industry in dancing uh, she teaches her dancing I'm as well as the models in Kansas City not a lot of models here are getting paid or making money no they're not so we're changing all of that. I'm changing all of that. And yes, there's always going to be people that work for free and are trying to build stuff. But we have a lot of um, very talented, talented yes. beautiful, and very attractive models. We have people from all over the world watching us. So we're trying to bring all of that, you know, make everyone aware of how much beauty and talent we have here. And we want to put them on payroll. That's what Joe is is doing. Oh, yes. And then I had a comment by Anna. Um, she says, it's good you're trying to get autistic babies to dance. Oh, my gosh. Aww. I have actually one little baby who has um, Asperger's syndrome. 
Mm. And he doesn't talk, but he comes in with his mom. But he will sit back and watch for mm. at least 30 minutes and then get out there and do the whole routine. What? I love it. And I'm like, what the hell yes. did you just do? Right? <laughs> and it makes me cry every time he dances because it's like he don't yes. talk, you know. Isn't that it, inspiring? Yes. I think that is, there's nothing more fulfilling than, you know, to see our children, especially children with challenges. Yes. You know, just get out there, take over, get confident. I really want to have a couple of things donated, um, which would be a van so we can have transportation Mm -hmm. for them. We do. Um, Also, there's a harness that helps kids in wheelchairs be able Mm -hmm. to stand up like the regular kids. Yes. And um, with the aid of their teacher or a, a, what do you call those, an assistant, Mm -hmm. will be able to stand up and dance just like the other kids and feel like they're part of the class. You know, so those, (laughs) those, um, Harnesses cost anywhere from three thousand to five thousand dollars, you know, just to be installed and to put up right and you know right. everything. And so that to me is the most important thing to get mm-hmm. these kids in there and be able to feel like you know yes. they're a part of a part team of- and being able to um, sit there and say I did that, yes. I got to dance with my with my friends. Yes, you know, even though they'd be sitting on her wheelchair and dancing with her, but you That's know, okay. right. <laughs> It's their their form of dancing. Yes, but it's fun because it's like it's it's. I mean, I can post a video uh, sometime today with this little girl and she's in a wheelchair and she just loves. She does all the arm movements. She does little head movements. I'm just like, you go, girl. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Sweet, sweet. There are precious gifts, for sure. Yes, personal space. Yes, exactly. Right. I'm gonna read some of my. Uh, yeah, read some of comments your comments in here and see what we have going. Around. I really want to get that palette, you guys. Uh, give it away to somebody. So go on to KUAW 98.5. We're having a watch party. All you got to do is share that video, and we get up 100 shares, and we will be able to give that palette away. Let's go. Let's go. So it looks like um, Nelson's on and needs background people for a movie. Oh, so nice. I'm sure we're going to have models watching. A lot of actors and actors need to get a hold of baby or Nelson and see what you can do uh, to be a part of a movie. Uh, We have a lot of people here in Kansas City doing a lot of great things, talented. And get in touch with me, Nelson, because we can hold a casting call, too, with all three of us and get it to um, get you some really good um, people out to um, be extras and um, yeah, extras and, and stuff like that. Yeah. He has a video coming out. That's a little mini movie. And um, I can't wait to see it. Right, right. <laughs> it's a, it's like a the purge kind of thing, <laughs> so it's scary. So hopefully it comes out soon. Right, right. So you guys be looking out for uh, Baby or Nelson and his art. Okay, so now um, a little personal stuff. <laughs> Not just kidding. Okay, <laughs> okay so um, when it comes to you being a fashionista and doing your things, um. Are you married? Are you single? I'm single. Hey, see, I'm not alone in this boat. No. <laughs> A lot of my friends are two married. Two years, honey. Two years, and uh, I'm, you know, been so busy. I haven't even had time to even think about dating, but I have been thinking. So <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm rolling it through. I'm my not head. at that point yet, you guys. I'm not thinking. I'm not doing anything but working and having, you know, a good time with my ladies and good time with. They actually took me out uh, two weeks ago, huh? It's been already yes, two weeks. It was fun. Um, to the white party. And I haven't been out in Kansas City since I've moved here. And that's been four years. Girlfriend. But I'm not that. I, I did that all when I was, you know, on tour and stuff. So it's not something like I have an itch for. You know, right. but it always is different when you go with people you care about and people who have fun with you. It just mm-hmm. got a little tricky when people kept taking off their masks, you know, because I just got done doing chemo and I'm just like, right. Gotta it be was a safe. little it was a little scary. 
So we stayed back in our little spot, though, away from everyone. Yes, we did. We were in VIP, so it was, good yeah. time, right? Of course, VIP. Yeah, of so course. it was it was away from a lot of people, so we weren't, like, in the middle of the, you know, the crowd and stuff. Right. I just wish the lady would come back faster because I wanted some more <laughs> wings. <laughs> Those wings were good. <laughs> yes, they were the right spice, the right, you know. They were good. They weren't too <laughs> spicy, but they weren't too mild either. They were just perfect. Yeah. They were perfect. All right. So it's not so impressive. Um, we've both been in the entertainment industry for a lot of years. So yes. it's not so big of a deal really going out and and um, just hearing music unless you are with good friends yes. and just enjoying each other. So that was an awesome girls night. Yes, we're going to be taking some trips out of town. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to be doing some makeup for, um, for Joe. So mm -hmm. um, that's going to be fun. Um, we're planning a trip to go to California. Um, so that's going to be fun. We haven't talked to Seanette yet, but we're going to be, you know, we have to go out there to pitch our stuff to, you mm -hmm. know, producers and, and stuff like that. So yes. and we, we're working with some very big names. I'm excited. I uh, know. We're getting texts. We're getting emails. We're getting messages uh, from very big companies. And I'm excited. I'm excited to work with them. I know. I can't wait. It's It's been mm -hmm. a long, long journey for me mm -hmm. to be able to come out of my shell. And you women have helped me do that when it came to, you know, me going through my challenges, uh, being a part, you know, of that journey is kind of like now I have people that I can share it with, you know. So it's gonna be fun. Like I can't wait. Like, oh, she's so pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Um, some guy hit me up on Facebook earlier today, and he and I didn't want to be rude, you know, because some people can be potential clients and stuff like that, mm, right? You know, and I saw that he did music, so I was just asking him. He was ended up only being twenty five and tried to uh -huh. ask me out, and I said, I, I uh, oh. It's so odd, right? It's just not so. that because he was so respectful about it. Aww. He wasn't rude. He wasn't, you know, one of those perverts, you know. But I had to kind of tell him, like, you know, I'm only on my Facebook for business. Right. And um, to be honest with you, I'm, like, old and you're my son's <laughs> age. You're younger than my son. So it couldn't do that. Like, well, that's well. just to me. I know. I was like, ooh, yeah. no. <laughs> so let it be said. So also on my Facebook page, um, my messenger is strictly for business only. Yes, people. I do not <laughs> um, really respond to people that are not talking about business. So that's just to put out there. Yes, and that's that's <laughs> for everybody. I mean, nowadays they think that social media is a hookup because mm -hmm. that's how it has been portrayed for such a long time. Right. But on my page, it says Extreme Expressions Beauty. So... Mm -hmm that automatically tells you that is a business page right. not and i on my business page i can't um send messages they have to message me first mm, really i can't request anybody because it is a strictly biz business page okay so i can't request friends i can't um mm. so like when i have orders I'm trying. yeah when i have orders i have to tell my clients message me so that way i can message you back and i can get you your invoice okay you know so that way you know everything is done so, um, okay, so next okay. question, you guys. Okay, so with um, your clothing, with your your business and the models, how do you look for models? Do they come to you or how do you scout so, for them? I don't know. I just feel so blessed. Like um, when I first started, I just have, you know, I have a lot of girlfriends and they just would say, hey, I'll model, I'll model. And then things grew. Mm -hmm. So then I started having casting calls and, you know, at we started at one small venue and then they got bigger with each show. Um, so I just started, you know, having casting calls for this, casting calls for that. Because, you know, with the show, um, we're going to start getting people hitting my messages, hitting yours mm -hmm. with like models and, you know, stuff like right. that. So I'm obviously going to forward them to you because I don't know anything mm -hmm. about modeling. So <laughs> I'm be like, OK, here's her info. Here's her contact uh, info. You know what I mean? So, yeah, if you guys are models, females, males, teenagers, kids, you know, you take all of them? I take, I don't, uh, because I mostly, you know, I design clothes for women. Yeah. So, of course, I, you know, do women. And I have models messaging me every day. Please work with me. How can we collaborate? You know, mm -hmm. just trying to. And I really want to work with, I've met some awesome people, you know. Um they just, they're there, they're here, and they're ready, and they're ready to work, and yes, we'll have casting calls, and we'll keep it organized, 
uh, since it's been, you know, four or five years now, I've had a chance to kind of get to know uh, some of the models, how they work, their attitudes, maybe follow them on social media. So I try to um, take all of that in consideration when I choose my models. Mm -hmm. I want to see a positive social media page. Yes. I want to see, you know, a great attitude. It all goes together. I don't want to see someone that if I bring you in, you might be difficult to work with. Or, you know, I want to bring someone in and, you know, uh, let you shine. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully you continue to move forward, you know, and um, expand what you're doing. And that's really what I want. Yeah. And then, like, for me, we have, like, triple threats. We have singers, models, and dancers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, we did not quite hit that 100 mark. But we will be back next week, and we will see if we can do that, okay? I do really want to give out this palette, you guys. So, anyways, um, we're about to end the show. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Joe, for coming on. Yay, thank you for um, having me. If you guys want to look her up, she's Joe Wiz at Facebook, Instagram. She has her YouTube page. What's your YouTube page called? So, Fashion Wiz Magazine, and the Wiz is W-H-I-Z. So, Joe Wiz on Facebook. Uh, Wiz.fashion on Instagram, uh, fashion, um, sorry, on YouTube, it's Fashion Wiz Magazine. Uh, we also have FashionWizMagazine.com. I want to give a shout out to my brand ambassadors, uh, Nora Rodriguez, Ty J. Davis, Alexis Jones. Wait a minute, I have one more. Kira Denny, she's fabulous. And I want to give a shout out to a sister that I just recently lost, Amy and she'll be missed, and we love her, and I just wanted to give that shout-out. So thank you. You're welcome. Thank you guys for viewing, and we will see you guys next weekend. Oh, Have a good weekend, and be safe. Thanks, guys, for joining. Hey, everybody, this is Scatter. You might remember me from way back in the Zodiac days. Be sure and check us out. We're going to be here every day from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock. It's old school with Scatter. Scatter's back. Check me out on the internet. KUAW.org. For all you for sale Central Manulite people, I want you to remember that in the 60s and the 70s, we had some good music. If you want to hear some of the Temptations, some of Smokey Robinson, some of the Tim Free, things that you don't get every day, DJ Scatter remembers. He's going